Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Alex Bowman's 2022 patriotic Coca-Cola 600 Ally Do-It-Right Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for Hendrick Motorsports. What a beautiful looking 48 to look at today. And this, in my opinion, is one of the more interesting patriotic cars. One of the cooler ones, too. This one I actually really, really like. When I first saw it, I actually took some getting used to because usually they go for the army planes and tanks uh, for patriotic cars. But this time they went on for an all out patriotic red, white and blue and even silver design as well. And they even kept some of the elements of the normal allies, such as the shape of the logo with the added dog tags and of course the purple on the side, which is quite interesting and even on the back as well. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at this diecast. They really went forward with the Ally Patriotic cars. I don't see this at all as a downgrade from the past two because they've all been really good. Uh, so there's a 48 right there, Hendrick Motorsports, that Chevrolet, ZL1 right there. And of course, let's get the camera to focus in on that. You got the Ally logo on the hood with the American flag backdrop with the white outline and the dog tags, which read Veteran Ally. At Chevrolet, the air vent so the driver can breathe. You got SPC Bayless. That is the little tribute soldier name right there with the patriotic banner. Got Sunoco Goodyear. Honor and Remember printed on the Goodyear rolling wheels. A little bit fuzzy on the print though. I'm not sure what that's all about. You got uh, NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Salutes, number 48. Uh, holy cow, a huge, huge blue paint chip on the side skirt. Wow, even in the four packs, they can't even give you the best quality car. You got a chip right... Wow, that is bad. <laughs> At least it's on the side skirt and not on the actual scheme itself, but jeez. Wow, dude. You got number 48 right there, Alex Bowman. And it looks like a little another little tribute logo. Uh, I'm not sure what that reads. Kind of too small to read on the 164. Got the race winner sticker right there. You have... Acronis, Exalta, Cincinnati, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Siemens. Don't quote, don't quote me on this, but it looks like all the Hendrick cars have those exact same contingencies on there. Got Ally, do it right. I would have wished they had done the dark blue instead of purple, so the purple doesn't have like an odd blend like this, but it kind of is what it is. Ally wanted to keep their colors in some form. I mean, with the last two patriotic cars, they never put any purple. It was just the white, the blue, or the green. So that's a little interesting. Vaveline, you got the little Hendrick, a uh, little sticker that's behind the Vaveline. You got HendrickCars.com right there. Man, this camera does not want to focus today. Uh, here's the back. Vaveline, Ally, do it right. Number 48, Camaro, ZL1. You have Ally do it right on the deck lid right there, Bowman, and then Ally do it right on the roof. Did they do it right with this one? We're about to find out. It's spray painted the dark blue color first, meaning that the white and the red are wrapped on. So, for the paint scheme itself, I'm going to start out with a black splitter and a black spoiler. And it's going to start out with that all patriotic blue in the front. Got a little bit of like grease markings on this car. So that's a little bit interesting right there, like, just like the quality, like, you see that, like, how there's, like, a little bit of, uh, grease and stuff on there? Not sure why that happened, but that's just, like I said, I really don't like to think of the factories these things come out of, but back to the scheme itself. Got the hood vents over the decals, which is accurate, very cool, so it's all blue out front. And then the blue is gonna stop right around the silver outline of the star right there. And of course, it's going to wrap very nicely around. And then the side skirts are black. And now the silver on this car is not painted. It's just wrapped. But it still looks good either way. And you even have the silver outline on the number. Which, let's talk about the numbers. You've got a silver outline, a white outline, and a blue number fill-in. And on the roof, it's just the all white. The back's got this, the blue 48. And the front has the white 48. Uh, but back to the color scheme. you got the silver star outline. So it's going to start with the one, two, three spikes of the star, the little triangles on each edge, and then the other half of it is going to just spread out 
onto the side and leave an all white gap right there for the silver stars with the gray outline. So a bit a bit different now. Now it's got like a darker. Well, it actually has still has the dark gray outline, but the inside of the star is not white. It's gray and it's all like it's like a shooting star. Very really really nice design. The shooting star on there, and of course goes underneath the ally in between the 48 and the ally, and then the one on the top of it. It's going to start at the biofuel logo on the tail light and then shoot across the side past the do it right up to the Y and ally, which is really cool. And then the other part of it, the upper half, the roof pillars, you're going to have the black roof rails and around the sides and the roof rails and the roof pillars. It's going to be a really nice red, very, very cool, bright red. Very, very nice to know that they went with the brighter red color. It actually looks really, really nice. Um, and of course, it's going to start a little under the driver's window, and then the silver is just going to spike back up to the B pillar and the rear quarter windows, and it's just going to wrap all the way around like a stripe, like a silver stripe. Would have been cool if they did metallic for the outlines, like a silver leaf trim, but they did not go for that. Um, onto the deck lid, you're going to have the two stars, the gray outline and the white letter fill-in, or the star fill-in, I should say. And then the whole top of it being red, the roof, it's going to carry on all the way to the deck lid. And then the back is going to have the gray outline from the star, which was on this side, the shooting star pattern. And it's, gonna, it's just going to wrap a little over the taillights and the Chevy logo under the black spoiler right there. And then the rear quarter panel where the shooting star was starting from, it's going to wrap all the way around the back with the silver underneath and the thin gray outline on that bumper right there. So a pretty interesting design to say the least. And of course the black and gray style rims. Very, very cool car. Of course, Alex Bowman ran this in the Coca-Cola 600, which I am going to make a prediction right here on this video. Alex Bowman will win a Coca-Cola 600 at one point. I don't know what year. I don't know which one, but I know at some point, because I remember 2020, watching Alex Bowman in the 88 car just dominate that race and not win. They just give it all too early, I guess. Uh, but Alex Bowman, his future is actually uncertain which i really don't understand why because he can win races and can make the playoffs so why would he why would he be on anyone's chopping block like that's kind of off to me uh but back to the die cast got the white good ears just a cool car and when i first saw this this literally to me looked like a pepsi logo of a paint scheme just like a stylized pepsi scheme to have like the shooting stars and all that like a patriotic pepsi bottle that's what this looked like to me. This literally looks like a straight, this looked like a straight Pepsi logo. Just the way this car looked like. Um, but of course, it's an ally creation, so being fair to it, this is not a Pepsi scheme. But it looks a lot like one. Like, just replace, like, any of the ally sponsorships with, like, Pepsi. And then you'll see, like, oh, wow. It actually does look like a Pepsi car. <laughs> Which, Pepsi has not been a NASCAR for a, quite a while. They left in, like, what, 2015? Somewhere around there, like using the name Pepsi instead of Mountain Dew and all that. Quite interesting. Um, but this paint scheme right here, it's definitely a top patriotic scheme. I mean, if you just look at it and you notice like the details of it, just especially like the dog tag logo, that's back on. Really cool. They went back to using just the A on the hood. They're not going to use the trippy looking glitched ally logo anymore. It's going to be just like this one, except the normal colors. But for the patriotic, you're going to have that. American flag ally logo with the dog tags. It's almost like they reuse some assets because that's been used before. They reuse some assets from the old ally patriotic cars and they just paste it onto the new ones. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of an interesting fact right there. But for the NASCAR salutes tour, this is a beautiful car. I mean, I would love to see these cars run more than one race because the NASCAR salutes tour isn't just one race. This could literally be for multiple races so i'd love to see patriotic cars like this one run multiple races but man just the white hips with the stars coming out of the deck lid man just the stars on the side the color choice of the red the blue it's just a beautiful car man just adding the silver as an accent color 
is just absolutely beautiful on this car, man. This is a really cool one to get if you're an Alex Bowman fan, which Alex Bowman does not get a lot of die cast. So if you want to get a chunk of die cast and you're an Alex Bowman fan and you only get his cars, this can be one of them and to be added into your collection. So very, very cool. And a shout out to NASCAR Phil Torres 46 V2. Uh, birthday weekend for him. So his favorite driver is Alex Bowman. So I was like, you know what? Let's choose another Bowman car as I do a 360 view. Because in all reality, these ally schemes, they're very streaky. Like, one year you have a good scheme, the next year you have a trash scheme. And it's been like that for a while, but the Patriotics have always been on point, unlike the primaries, which they stepped up their game this year for the primaries. Can't wait to review those. Alex Bowman's name is Color Match. Very cool. Sometimes I forget to point out the Color Match logo, but this one is the white Alex and the blue Bowman. The white Alex, the blue Bowman. And it looks like it has the little, nah, they, it's just the Hendrick logo. Which, some of the smaller decals are quite fuzzy. Like, it just depends on which ones. Like, that one next to the race winner sticker. Uh, the Goodyear's wheels, the Goodyear wheels and stuff like that. But, you know, it's still a good scheme to get. Still a good die cast to have. Uh, it's going to look good in your stop motions and your die cast series for the Patriotic cars. Apparently, the Duralast Cup series is done. One more race and that's it. So if you want to see another series like that, go on 9446 Network and tune in to my diecast series, the Flash Racing Cup Series. And you're going to have a patriotic race and all that stuff. So thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts.